What's going on guys, Mike here, AX Garage. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're on our second episode on our championship wide FL5 Civic Type R. Now on the last episode, able to install a set of Swift Loan Spring YTE37 and some factory OEM accessory. Now in today's episode, PRL sent us over a care package which includes a few prototype parts. Let's go to the table and see what we have. Guys, on the table, we have a table full of goodies, and John can tell you guys a little bit more and what we have here. All right, so again, we got some really cool stuff from PRO, and you know, I think that's a new PRO sticker. I, I really like it. Yeah, it's just uh, some sort of like reflective type of deal. Yeah, man, it's totally awesome. So what we have here is the billet uh, intercooler, high flow intercooler for the FL5. This thing is beautiful. You guys have seen ones that we have put on here before. CNC end tanks, super wide in the middle here. We have, you can see the awesome fitment on these tanks, the beautiful milling on them, nice hand welded. Everything's made in house on these. Everything fits like factory. We also have the strut bar, which is, this is the same OG style strut bar that we put on my Integra. And that'll look just at home on the FL5. We also have the beautiful large titanium inlet piping. This replaces the factory smaller diameter um, piping and also replaces that really fancy new adapter that's on the new FL5. All I know is this is going to replace that and it definitely looks pretty good in all the other fittings that come with it so that it's a plug and play deal. All together this is pretty simple stuff. I don't know if there's horsepower increase on this. It should increase the flow into the turbo. Um, this isn't a bolt-on horsepower increaser, but what it does is it's more efficient and it doesn't heat soak, so you're able to maintain your horsepower once the car gets hot. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the front end apart and put the whole thing together. And before we remove the bumper, we wanna go ahead, get our stencil and get a couple of coats of spray paint on it while it's drying. Then we can remove the front bumper.
with the front bumper out of the way. The front end looks super, super naked. And I tell you guys what, this FL5 front bumper is super easy to remove compared to the FK8. Now, take a look at the original intercooler. Looks kind of cute underneath here. So next up, let's go ahead and get this intercooler unbolted. Then we can install the PRL upgraded intercooler. Okay guys, so we have both the OEM intercooler along with the upgraded PRL unit right over here. So I'm gonna put them next to each other so you guys can kind of see and also compare between the two, between the OEM unit and the PRL unit. Just a lot thicker and also a bit taller than the OEM unit. Now the insulation should be pretty straightforward. All we have to do is swap over the O-ring to the new upgraded one. Before we put the intercooler back together, and John actually came up with a really good idea by painting the intercooler a different theme, and it's drying right now, so we're gonna show you guys in just a little bit. Now, in the meantime, let's go ahead and work on the intake and also the inlet pipes right over here. Okay, so we have everything here on the table. We have the OEM factory unit, along with the PRL complete unit here, the elbow, the titanium inlet turbo pipe, along with the intake tube, along with some of these elbows, and also the hose clamps. Everything is all, all here. Mix up, let's go ahead and piece them together one by one.
guys, what do you think so far? I personally think the PRL setup really clean up the intake system. Next up, let's go ahead and finish up the strut bar. All right guys, so got the intercooler mounted. So this is John idea. Black it out and then white stencil. I yeah. think it'll look really, really good. I think it'll look good. The grill is all black, so it'll kind of blend in a little bit more, but then you'll have the white PRL. Kind of goes with the whole white on white kind of deal. I think it's a good idea. Hopefully it looks good. You know, some people say I have good taste, like my mustache. But I don't think so. <laughs> Drop a comment below and let us know what you think <laughs> on the unicorn setup and also. <laughs> Well guys, just like that, we are all done with our FL5 Civic Type R, able to install all of these prototype 
goodies from PRL, including the titanium turbo inlet, a silicone intake tube, a retro style front strut bar, and also this very cool upgraded intercooler. Definitely clean up the engine bay and also give the front end a very aggressive look. And this is it for this video. You guys like what you see, make sure you guys are subscribing to our channel, give us a thumbs up and drop a comment below and let us know how we are doing. My name is Mike Behalf for AC Garage. Thanks again for watching. We hope to see all of you next week.